So going on, I did make a top view, and with this top view, you'll notice that I turned on the animation and stuff, such. So I've got my three views now, my floor plan, my floor plan off, and then my top view, and it does have the floor plan on. And I really should have, have turned off the ability for that to have, um, what is it? Let's see, that's under scenes. I really should have turned off the ability for it to have visible layers. And so I'll just update that. Because now if I'm over on my floor plan off, floor plan on, let's make sure that that does not have camera location. There we go. Floor plan off, floor plan on, and top view. If I have my um, floor plan off, when it goes to the top, it won't turn it on. So that's good. Anyway, we're just setting up a nice work environment. Now, the other thing to set up our nice work environment is to do something with this image. Because the problem that we have with this image right now is that it's kind of hard to draw on top of. And here's a little technique that I found in order to make an, the image a little bit more like a traceable image. I'm going to right click on it, choose Use as Material, go to my materials, find that material, which is the floor plan renderings and change the opacity down to something. Now we can't really tell how that's being applied, but if I go back to this object, right click and explode it, then we'll actually be able to see the results of that opacity. So that really helps us because when we want to draw on top of this, we want to be able to see it, but we also want to be able to see what we're drawing. So um, now I'm going to make sure that I am on my um, let's see, layers. Let's make sure that we're on layer zero. That's our default layer. And I'm going to start drawing my objects. So just get to a, a comfortable view to see things. If you want, you can just go to your regular top view and then zoom up because that way you don't have any perspective, which is kind of nice. Anyway, I'm going to just click and drag and start drawing my objects. Now we're going to use this kind of snapping feature so that it, it works to our advantage. And I'm not going to worry about whether or not my faces are exactly perfect. I'm really just not worried at all. But I do need to worry about whether or not I'm straight across. So anytime you can, you want to make sure that you um, constrain it to that point so that the next one you, that you draw is going to be perfect. One way to do it is to draw something in between. and then to fix that afterwards. So here you can see there's that point. I'm going to move back up slowly. And there we go. Now I want to make sure that's aligned, so I'll align it there. And here's that one that we drew that doesn't look like we did a perfect job. But I guess we maybe we did. It just doesn't look that way. Anyway, I can get rid of those lines. Whoops, those lines that I know I don't need right away because when we go to extrude this we really do not want any extra lines so I'm gonna just fix that just make sure that that's set correctly let's go to extrude uh, delete that line delete that line delete that line any of the lines that um, are overlapping that we really don't want it to overlap now with something like this right here we've got a wall here and I'm not really going to worry too much right now about the fact that that wall really has a window because we'll be able to cut that into the window later because the wall needs to be around the window so you just need to be aware of that not always are you going to cut everything so let's see if I can lock that interference yeah look at that I lock the interference by hovering over that pressing the right arrow and it takes me straight across which is great So there's pretty much a nice um, beginning. Of course, we've got other objects that we can do. So I'm going to go straight across here. You'll see that's where it's not necessarily exactly perfect, but hey, it's something. Let's make sure that that's the same distance across. Hover over it, press the um, left or right arrow. And you'll see that's that's looking pretty good.